gorgeous Aquarians, this is Debs and this is your TGIF for Friday the 5th of April 2024. Aqua, it is wonderful to be with you. I hope you guys have had a really good week. Let's get into this and find out how your person feels about you. All right, the deck that I'm using is the Tarot du Soleil. Everything you need is down below. The link to my website if you'd like a private reading. All the decks are listed too. And the link to join the channel if you'd like to see more videos. All right, here we go. Aqua. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Aquarians. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday, the 5th of April, 2024. I'm almost getting a chaotic energy coming through for you. Aqua, you could be incredibly busy. You may be forging forward, trying to achieve something. I'm almost getting the energy of I've got no time to spare at all, at all. Yeah, um, Aqua, you're hectic. The cards feel quite heavy. You may be going through something heavy right now. All right, guys, let's see. Let's see. Page of Cups. Nine of Cups. Judgment. Six of Swords. Nine of Wands. Wow, Aquarius. So, yeah. This is relatively heavy in terms of energy, Aquarius. I feel, Aqua, for those I'm connecting with, you are apologising to someone. I'm hearing profusely, sincerely. The Page of Cups is you apologising for sitting in overindulgence. Nine of Cups. You face Judgment Day and you just want to move to calmer waters with this person and settle any negativity. But with a Nine of Wands, you're not sure they will even communicate with you. This is you wanting to apologise, to sort of calm everything down. Now, Aqua, if this is switched, this could be somebody apologising to you. As you guys know, many readings of mine are reversed. It's just the way it happens. Three of Wands. Aquarius, you're thinking about this person who lives at a distance. The High Priestess. You two haven't spoken for the longest time. You may be wanting to apologise to a Sagittarian, a Cancerian or a Pisces. Queen of Cups, Pisces energy. Strong Pisces with a hangman. Aquarius, you hope that... If this person opens the door to hear you out, she will see your side of the story and she will accept your apology. And I'm hearing leave it at that. Just leave it at that. There may be a situation here, Aquarius, where you betrayed someone sat in divine energy with a high priestess. This is not you. This is this person. Very strong Cancerian energy, very strong Pisces energy, High Priestess, the Hangman and the Queen of Cups. Temperance. The angels are guiding you, Aquarius, to reach out to this person to ask for their forgiveness. Because with the King of Pentacles, Aquarius, which I think is you, you have no intention of leaving a long-term relationship to be with this person. The star. You just simply hope that's your Aquarian energy 
that you can put the past in the past and that you two can move forward in your individual lives with no angst between the two of you. Three of Cups. And the reason why you want to do that, Aquarius, is you may have gone through a stream of bad luck. And if this is someone who's a light worker, you may have worried that this is divine intervention. This is someone who was given justice by maybe you going through a series of tower moments because this is someone closely connected to the divine. If Aquarius, this is you thinking, I'm pretty sure this Queen of Cups High Priestess caused me stress and pain. You may have thought, oh my goodness, she's put a hex on me. What's going on? My life is kind of disintegrated. No, because she is sitting in the light. This is someone who is not carrying negative, vengeful energy, but she is protected by the divine. And Aquarius, if there was a past situation where you know that you lied or deceived or betrayed this Queen of Cups, the divine will see to it that you have to face Judgment Day. Justice. Aquarius, you've reconciled with someone. You may have reconciled with a Libra. And so all you want to do now is move forward and enjoy a peaceful life with your partner. But I think in the past you might have used this Queen of Cups as a third party, not knowing that she was highly intuitive, connected to the divine and that she was protected. And because you've reconciled with your partner now, you've reconciled your legal contract you want to ensure that there's no animosity between you and your past lover, the Queen of Cups. I'm so sorry, please forgive me, with the hope that any karma will be balanced. Any bad luck that you've gone through, Aquarius, will cease. So Aquarius, underneath the deck we have, yes, the Hierophant. You may have reconciled with your wife. Six of Cups. You may have gone through a painful separation from your wife. But with a Four of Coins, you hung on to this connection and you wanted to protect it. With the Knight of Swords, there may have been a very unpleasant conversation. It may be that your wife found out that you cheated on her with this Queen of Cups and that might have put your marriage in jeopardy. Page of Wands. She may have seen a message on your phone to this woman, a flirtatious message. With a page of coins, I think you want the dust to settle with this Queen of Cups. You want her to accept your apology. You may even turn up with a gift. What you're apologising for, Aquarius, is for sitting in the Seven of Swords. You may have tried to move this Queen of Cups lightworker into an affair situation. And you hurt her very deeply. And this is you realising that you have to do the right thing. It may be that... Even the angels are guiding you to do this, you know. So Aquarius, let's move into angel messages. Let's see what the angels have to say. So Archangel Michael, what do the angels have to say? What is the guidance for Aquarius from the angels? Thank you, Michael. Okay. Aquarius, if you're now sitting in the light, no third party energies, you're not giving into temptation, what the angels are saying, Aquarius, is now you must stay on that path. Don't deviate from that path. Don't sit in your shadow. Stay on that path. Stay in the light. And take action towards this Queen of Cups.
Now is the perfect time, Aquarius, to do this. So if you've been thinking, is this the right time? Yes, it is. And the situation will improve. Interesting. So Aquarius, you may have felt that things have taken a turn for the worse. And I think out of a sense of fear that things wouldn't improve, you felt you wanted to go back to this Queen of Cups to say sorry. Yeah. Communicate clearly, Aquarius. Communicate clearly that your situation maybe has improved with your karmic partner. And take action to ask for this woman's forgiveness. Trust. Trust Aquarius that there will be a peaceful resolution. So there we have it. So I think Aquarius from here, let's ask for messages from you to this Queen of Cups. And then in the second reading, I think what we're going to be looking at is the future of the connection with your long term partner. OK, let's do that. So Aquarius, what would you want to say to this Queen of Cups? I never experienced this intense connection before. You two possibly shared a past life. I'm not the same person. Aquarius, you may have looked back and felt very guilty about what happened with the Queen of Cups. It might be that it jeopardized your marriage or your long term relationship. It could be that you realize you hurt this woman, but you do want her to know that you've changed. You're not sitting in your shadow any longer and you're now working on your long term relationship. I think about you so much, it's scaring me. Yeah, she's on your mind all the time. You are so beautiful inside and out. I never expected to fall in love with you so quickly. Wow, so Aquarius, you fell in love with this woman. I was selfish and immature. Please forgive me. Yeah. Wow, Aqua. Strong messages. Mm. And there we have it, Aquarius. You're moving on with your life. You're patching things up with your partner and you just want there to be peace in the situation. Despite the distance, I feel like our souls still remain intertwined. For some of you, Aquarius, you came in contact with a past life soulmate. For others of you, you may have recognised this female as your true divine feminine. But Aquarius, I think you're moving on with your life. You just want her to accept your apology. You just want to smooth things over with no bad feeling between the two of you. That's your aim. And I think the angels are saying, Aquarius, if you do move towards this person to apologize properly with a gift, you know, that sort of thing, there will be a peaceful resolution. I don't feel this is someone who is trying to cause you problems, but I feel the guilt is weighing down on you and you just want to put this to rest. So, Aqua, from here, let's move into a second reading. Let's find out the future of your long term relationship. OK, let's do that. All right, Aquarius, here we go. 
Let's find out the future of your relationship and let's hope, let's see if you and your partner can patch things up. Archangel Michael, what is the future, please, between Aquarius and their partner? Aquarius and their partner. Thank you, Michael. What is the future hold in that connection? Thank you, Michael. Page of Pentacles. You guys may have a child together or you may be apologising to your partner as well, you know. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. It can be a gift, it can be a child. All right. Queen of Pentacles. So Aquarius, this is your partner. You're apologizing to your long-term partner. You guys may have a child together. She could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. The Tower. Because she had a Tower moment, Aquarius, she may have found out about the Queen of Cups somehow. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Mm, okay, Aqua. King of Cups. Two of Swords. King of Swords. Eight of Cups. Ooh, Aquarius, I did not expect these energies to come through. I think after your Queen of Pentacles forgives you, because she will, there's going to be a tower moment which is going to be unexpected. She may say to you that she wants to move into separation. She may actually move out of the house you're living in and move elsewhere. Basically, Aquarius, she's going to sabotage the connection with the Five of Swords. She's interested in a King of Cups that you may not have known anything about. And with the Two of Swords, Aquarius, if you try to communicate with her, she's going to block you. And with the Eight of Cups, you may try to find out where she's gone. She may not leave a forwarding address. Or, Aquarius, what you're realising is, yes, she's forgiven you, but she doesn't want to stay with you. She's leaving you. The Chariot. The Five of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. So one of two things are going to happen, Aquarius. You're either going to find out where she is and you guys are going to sit down and have a serious conversation. And she's going to say to you, I felt left out in the cold. And the reason I felt left out in the cold for a period of time was because you were obviously having an affair with the Queen of Cups. You were sat in the night of once. Whilst I was working on our life, you were off playing. Now, Aquarius, she could say to you, I want to be left alone for a period of time. I have a job. I have money coming in. I don't need money from you. I think we need to separate. Or Aquarius, this is her saying to you, I'm leaving you for a king of cups, a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. I don't want to communicate with you anymore. We're moving into legal separation. I'm leaving. Chariot. 
Five of Pentacles, Aquarius, this is your thinking. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to pay out child support, maybe divorce settlement, because simply I gave into temptation. I sat in the night of wands. And with the Eight of Pentacles, Aquarius, you are diligently working on building up the money to provide settlement for, for your wife or this woman you had a child with who was very happily moving forward with another guy. So Aquarius, underneath the deck, Nine of Swords. This could be you having a few sleepless nights. Six of Wands, trying to wear a false mask, pretending that you're okay. For some of you, Aqua, and I'm sorry this sounds a difficult thing to say, but you may feel, because you sat in ego, right, you've now reaped karma. Aquarian energy, the star. A cycle is closing out, Aquarius. Could be a karmic cycle. And I feel the angels are asking you to face Judgment Day and make the decision to do the right thing, which might be to provide financial support for your long-term partner, who I think, to be honest, Aqua, may well be moving on in the future with a King of Cups. Aquarius, let's have a look at your future. I don't want to leave the reading like that for you guys. What is the future for Aquarius, Michael? Thank you. The Four of Cups. Okay, so Aquarius, you may not want to look at love for a few months. You may be healing, okay? The High Priestess. You're still not speaking to the Queen of Cups. And this is you feeling heartbroken. So Aquarius, this is you realising that you can't patch up your long-term relationship. Your partner's already decided to move on with another guy, the King of Cups. You may decide to try and reach out to the High Priestess, to the Queen of Cups, maybe. You're thinking, okay, well, if I'm now single, I may as well patch things up with the Queen of Cups and move forward with her. But you're not going to get any response from her, Aquarius, because if you remember, you moved towards her to apologise to say you were patching things up with your long-term partner. So she's possibly moved on as well, Aqua. Okay. The Wheel of Destiny. I feel the Divine is going to push you forward in a new direction, Aquarius. There will be a fortunate turn of events that I think will shift you in a new direction, Aqua. Temperance. The angels are going to be guiding you in another direction. Now you could be now you could be moving. You could be moving location. You could be simply sitting in a temperate place and just coasting. Okay. Let's have a look and see what's going to happen to the Queen of Cups. What's going to happen to the Queen of Cups, Michael? Thank you. Nine of Pentacles. She may be deciding to work on herself. She's single. Um, she's going to be working on her career. She may well decide to go into partnership with someone or she could be... Again, working on her finances. Justice. I think the angels are going to ensure that she's balanced in her life. She may be working on a new contract. Okay. And there she is, Queen of Cups. So she's going to be working on herself. She's also going to be taking care of herself. And moving forward in her life, I think concentrating on her career. With the sun, she could end up developing a relationship with a Leo or a Libra. Or she's simply going to be moving forward and she may well relocate in the future. 
So Aqua, from here, let's get a few messages. Let's see what the universe has to say. So Archangel Michael, what is the guidance from the universe, please, for Aquarius? Judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Okay. Key. New beginnings, directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. Yeah, you're going to be moving in a new direction, Aqua. The angels are guiding you in a new direction. Thorns. Weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. So Aqua is going to be a little bit tough. You're going to need to be strong, but the angels are guiding you onto a peaceful new path. Final message from the universe to Aqua, please, Michael. Unicorn. Success, hope, freedom, healing and magic are all available to you if you just believe. Believe in your new future, Aquarius. Okay. So, as always, let's close with a message from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, may we have your guidance, please, your final message for Aquarius. Thank you, Michael. Interesting. Aquarius, energy healing work. Thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. Aquarius, you may well look at a career based around healing. Okay, interesting. Under the deck, explore your options. So, Aqua, I'm leaving the reading there. It's been a little challenging, but I do hope it's helped. Take care of you. Have a lovely weekend. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you then. Bye now.